We get quite a few questions on how to clean flow gauges. It's worth mentioning that discoloration of the flow gauge doesn't impact the performance of the underfloor heating system. But the flow gauges on the stainless steel manifolds can be removed and cleaned if necessary so that you can see the flow rates. To do this, we need to be able to minimise the amount of water that will be lost and the amount of air introduced into the system. First, we need to make sure that we have all of the thermostats turned off on the manifold. Next, we need to isolate the manifold from the system by turning the isolation valves off. When the valve handle is at 90 degrees to the pipework, the valve is off. And we need to do this on both the flow and return. Once successfully isolated, we need to reduce the pressure in the manifold. We do this at the upper bar of the manifold. Firstly, we need to remove the cap from the outlet, then place a container under the drain off to catch water that's going to be released. Either using the cap itself or with a radiator key, insert this into the underside of the valve where there is a small square nut. Open the valve slowly and you'll start to get an amount of water coming out. We only need to drain off enough water to reduce the pressure on the manifold pressure gauge to zero. Once the pressure has been dropped, we can then remove the flow gauges. Now remove the red caps to expose the black nut at the base of the flow gauge. You will then need to unscrew the sight glasses in order to remove it. This is best done with a quality set of slip joint pliers. Just keep in mind that the sight glass has an opposite thread. Using a cotton bud and normal domestic cleaning agent, the inner surface of the sight glass can be cleaned. The refitting operation is the reverse of the removal, but you may find that once you have opened the manifold isolation valves, you need to top the system water up. To do this, you'll need to locate your filling loop. Simply open both valves whilst watching the system pressure gauge. When the gauge reads one bar, close both off. Your system is now ready to use again.